Hello, these short videos were created to introduce Columbus Food functionality. Functionality that are enhancements built seamlessly into the Microsoft Dynamics NAV solution. Using simple examples, we'll highlight key Columbus functionality that is being used by the meat poultry industry today. For many years, Columbus has worked with various types of meat processors and their product lines. Columbus is the solution, experience, and support to meet processors' unique ERP system challenges. This specific video highlights Columbus Foods' enhancements to sales and purchase order processes. The key topics will be order guide, standing orders, and contract orders, plus Columbus's enhanced pricing, and vendor item approval management. Columbus's sales order guide gives processors insight into their customer sales history, extending the possibility for cross or upsale at the point of sales order entry. The items displayed on the order guide are controlled by filters at the top of the form. Using the history period value, a check mark in historical will filter for items with historical sales data. Populating the quantity to order and possibly the order unit of measure sets up the order guide. And once complete, the user selects add lines to bring this data back to the sales order. A quick note, Columbus offers the same order guide functionality under purchase orders as well. Processors may need functionality to accrue for marketing plans, such as rebates or promos. Processors are able to set up and keep track of these programs using Columbus's marketing granule. Likewise, complex commission calculations, including splitting commissions, is possible with Columbus's commissions granule. The functionality here is extensive, including deduction management, so please inquire to find out more. Columbus Food has extended functionality to allow price order at shipment, if the order date and the shipment date will differ impacting the price. Columbus also offers off-invoice allowances, a discount on sales invoices itself and can be based on the weight, volume, quantity, or amount, and delivered pricing of sales price that includes the cost of freight as part of the value. Columbus offers processors standing sales orders. These are template orders for the same items based on the same quantities, possibly created to be based on the same delivery schedules for Columbus's delivery trip scheduling. Starting and ending dates give an effective date range. An order frequency and next order dates are used to keep track of the schedule. In contrast, the user can manually generate sales orders from a standing order, or these standing orders can be linked to delivery trips and triggered based on a delivery schedule. Columbus and sales contracts give the processor the benefit of setting up individual cards for each contract, giving a greater level of organization. Quantity limits can be defined in two ways, based at the contract and then item level. For the processor, the primary purpose for working with sales contracts is to define and prioritize different sets of customer-specific pricing conditions, which become available at the time of order entry. It's possible to instruct NAV to direct customers to order only those items for which a contract price exists. Processors who require flexible sell price calculations and promotional discounts and who need readily available price changing methods will come to rely on Columbus's enhanced pricing features. Features offering complex price calculations that are maintained, tracked, and updated efficiently. Columbus's cost-based pricing tools give the processor flexibility in determining cost values for which sales prices are calculated, including external values such as a commodities market price. Break charges are dollar amounts added to the price when a sales unit is split into smaller quantity. Processors must maintain control over the quality of ingredients received, and to ensure quality, they rely on Columbus's approved vendor functionality. This functionality ensures that only certain items or groups of items will be purchased for a pre-approved vendor. If an item has been set up to require vendor approval, only a vendor that has been marked as approved can be used to purchase said item. Attempting to assign an unapproved item to a purchase order will result in the program informing the user that the action is not allowed. That completes this overview video. We anticipate you may have more questions, and we welcome the chance to discuss further your business needs. Thank you for viewing.